So what is going on, beautiful friends, family, people? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down and sharing with you guys how you can make over $300 a day solo mowing lawns. Yeah, I'm gonna be out here doing it by myself. But guys, I wanna break down, give you the strategy on how I grew my business, as well as walk you guys through a little day in the life, a little mowing vlog action of me going out there mowing lawns on my own. So for the day, we have around eight to nine lawns planned. It depends on how many we get to. We have some other obligations, other business stuff that we have to get done later into the day but right now it is 10 o'clock on the dot guys it is 90 degrees outside it is hot it is hot but we're gonna go get this done and more importantly guys I want to share with you guys how anyone can go out there and make money mowing lawns now I'm gonna go pick up my trailer start mowing lawns and more importantly I just want to say that I grew this business as a teenager with a push mower my dad's weed whacker I started this business with nothing and now we're doing over 30 to 40 lawns every week growing this lawn and landscaping business and more importantly this was the first business that I started as an entrepreneur one of the best businesses that you can start as a teenager if you need some extra money wherever you are in life guys so much opportunity in the lawn and landscaping business but guys stick with me here we're gonna do a little bit of live action mowing footage a little bit of vlog day in the life stuff of me the 22 year old business owner and more importantly leave a comment below on how I can help you make more money mowing lawns this summer so don't go there let's go out here let's try to beat the heat let's go pick up the trailer and let's start making money mowing cheers Okay, guys, so typically we'd go ahead and load up the trailer and start going on for the day, but the first property is actually my neighbors across the street. So I'm gonna take the skag over there and let's get this first property cleaned up. This is the first property of the day, $35, only the front yard. I'll show you the size of this property. It's my friend, so I give him a good discount, but it also takes like 10 minutes to get done. So let me go drive these things over here and let's start getting mowing. All right, guys, so we just finished up mowing the first property. I don't know if I considered it the first property because I had to drive over here, get that property done, but it's a small property in my neighborhood. I leave my mowing trailer at my parents' house. It makes it convenient and quick. So it's 1043 right now. That property took less than 15 minutes to make quick 30 bucks. Um, and question I wanna answer real, real quick for you guys is how do you collect payment? Um, how do you get paid from your customers once you get it serviced? Um, a typical customer, I'll go out there and service their property. After I get done their cut, I'll message them, say, hey, um, thank you for letting us service your property. Um, we'll send you an invoice. And typically I'll wait for the end of the week. They'll either send it the same day or they'll go ahead and leave me cash or they'll go ahead and fax me a check or send me a check in the mail. So what I do is I just notify them. I keep a note of who paid and who has not. And more importantly, those that don't pay, I just keep them in the loop. And the next time I go service their property, I make sure that they pay me before I get over to their property. So a quick little $30 property in 15 minutes. Let's go over head over to property number two. And this property number two is gonna be a $60 property, 60 to 65 typically, depending if we do some extra work. Um, it's a weekly slash 10 day cut that we do for here but it's a larger property and a great little $60 property that we can knock out in hopefully like under 30 minutes so show you guys what the property looks like as well as more mowing footage let's go 
All right, guys, so here we are at property number two. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. We got the trailer. We already to get this bad boy knocked out. So I'm going to get you some more mowing footage, but uh, we usually blow out the beds as well. We did the landscaping here. It's a great larger property that we knock out every week. So let's get it mowed. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's fast all right guys, so here's a quick update. As you can see, the property is fully mowed, good to go, double cut it. Um, did a lot of extra work too, which I'll explain here in a second once we get in the truck, but stripes up, beautiful looking lawn. It was definitely way overgrown um, after 10 days. So um, there's the property. And let me explain one really important point for you guys. So guys, as you can see, we just finished up property number two of the day. It is so hot out here, but we're getting it done. And after an hour and a half, we made $130. That property typically is a $65 cut. But once the customer wants me to do more things, well, guess what? That stuff is not free. One of the greatest downfalls that I had early on in my business. And I would say it was both good and bad. It allowed me to grow my business, build a lot of trust with my customers is when customers wanted more work for example they want me to blow out their landscaping beds pick up the sticks well this means more time for me and time is money so in general I upcharged her and I told her hey it's gonna be an extra forty dollars for this extra 30 minutes of work um, she understand it she just wanted her lawn and landscape cleaned up so I got paid she got a more cleaner landscaping job and overall we both were happy and I made more money so what I want to share with you guys is that when you're doing more work don't be afraid to not charge them free work work is great but free work will also put you out of business and free work will not allow you to hit great numbers in your lawn and landscaping business so just a quick little side note we're going over to property number three it is going to be a local townhouse um, and guys one of the first things that I do is I don't charge less than $30 to arrive at a property so this townhouse is gonna cost me $30 I'm gonna show you how fast I can get this done um, and we'll also side note side note side note um, Right now, my properties are pretty well spaced, which is not the best solution to making a lot of money fast. Um, but we're going to drive, make a few trips. But um, the next few loans we'll be doing are going to be pretty profitable. So, guys, stick with me and let's go get it done. Alright guys, so we just finished up property number three. As you can see, that little townhouse, that little square of space cost the customer $30. I want to share with you a quick little lesson. You might think, Peter, how can you charge $30 for that? And even when I first started this business, I had this customer for a little over two years now. I used to charge them $25 and I realized that I was not making money. And it's okay to charge $30, $35 because customers still need your service. If you're reliable, if you have to go out there and do it every two weeks, they're going to be willing to pay way more money. So um, don't use this barrier. Don't be scared to charge more in your lawn service and more importantly you have to understand that you're trying to make money the fees the gas the travel the scheduling the taxing the communicating with the customer all is incorporated in, in, in with that service and it's more than ju you just going out there and cutting the grass they're getting access to you they're getting your skills your expertise which means they should pay more and provide a quality service so hop on over to property number four and five they're not too far from each other um, right now we're at 160 dollars a little over an hour and a half it's 12 30 um, almost two hours um, so yeah we're gonna make some money about 65 dollars and hour um, right now rolling in mowing lawn so not bad it's hot as we see as you can see almost time to eat too but I'll meet you guys over at property number four
All right guys, so here we are with property number four for the day. Do a quick little walk through. Um, this one took about 30 minutes. We cleared it $40. We had to go ahead and blow this out too. Um, a little bit of extra work. As you can see, this property just sold, so they're trying to clean it up. Blew off the deck, but uh, here it is. This hill is kind of a pain. Um, but we got it all cleaned up, and we're gonna go head over to property number five and number six. Um, just trying to beat the heat. It's getting hot out here, but uh, stick with me here, guys, and I'll, and I'll show you something in a sec. See ya. All right, guys, we are property number five. We're rolling. It is 1.30. We're at $200 made so far mowing lawns. It's a little bit of a drive out here, but hey, we got two more properties to do after this, so we're gonna go get the milling footage. Let's knock it out. Let's make $245. This is a $45 property. Let's go drop some stripe. Let's go get this mower out, and let's keep making money mowing. Let's go. And real quick, guys, I'm tired of playing games. I don't know why I haven't had this bad boy on all day, but it's time to, time to whip it out here. Let's go. She ain't about that giddy up, then giddy out my way. Now it's time to start mowing. All right guys, so we are at property number six for the day. It's been a little bit of a drive today, but the heat is absolutely killing me. The great thing about this property here, guys, number six of the day, six lawns, $300. This one here is gonna put me over $300 made mowing lawns today. Um, a little over three and a half hours, probably this would be around four hours. So not bad, almost around $100 per hour. The gas expenses weren't that too, weren't too bad. Um, didn't burn much fuel today, only around 25 miles. A lot of like small, weird driving, a lot of traffic too but we need this property cleaned up we're gonna finish this one up and then uh and then head home from the day we have a lot of other stuff with work on um a few business opportunities i'm excited to bring to you guys as well through my youtube channel my tiktok channel as well um and then run the online business when we get home gotta eat i'm hungry i forgot to bring lunch out here i'm gonna do a little fast you know um but a lot of water today so let's get more milling footage don't go anywhere let's finish this video out strong let's go
All right, guys, so that is a wrap for today. It is 325 on the dot. We've got it done, we've got it mowed, and yes, we made $300 today mowing lawns and six lawns. So one thing that I focus on building out my lawn care business is raising the prices, trying to make some more money, and more importantly, trying to target or focus on making $300 every day that I go out there and solo mow. Solo mowing is difficult. It's how I grew my business. It's how I started my business at a young age. I was going out here at the push mower which allowed me to start my landscaping company, which allowed me to go out there and save money to invest back into my lawn business, to buy new equipment, to buy a new truck. All this was all from just being out, able to go out there, be gritty, going out there and being okay with getting hot, being right in the middle of the summer, guys, going through adversity. Lawn care business has taught me so much, and more importantly, it's a huge opportunity for you, for me, for anyone to start their first business, to make money mowing lawns, and more importantly, guys, people don't want to be out there push mowing in the summer heat. People don't want to go out there and, and go home from work and go out there and cut the grass so there's so much opportunity there's so much potential out you for you for you to start this business so don't use that excuse also, I can't start this business or Peter I don't know how he did it the truth is guys we all start from zero customers no matter where you begin you can start crushing it making money in lawn care so I hope this video was helpful for you guys when do some editing as well as the camera I believe died during the last mo there but we're gonna head home eat some dinner go back to the studio get some stuff edited go home work for more businesses and just continue to grind guys um, the one thing I want to share with you on a part of this video at the end if you're still watching is my desire to be an entrepreneur um, for my lawn care business I've learned so much from growing this lawn and landscaping business from starting a social media business from making income online guys from from just going out there and just turning something into nothing has kind of been my whole philosophy and story um, I was sitting here listening to a podcast and just have the risk to start that business literally they said can anybody start a business and the answer is yes you can start this business the ability to be free the ability to earn income for yourself the ability to start building your own life at a young age no matter where you are in life is all through building a business for yourself whether it's a lawn care business a power washing business a tech company a startup um, if you're trying to become a lawyer whatever your business or practices guys use this as some advice to just say wherever you are if you're unhappy with your life you want to start becoming your own entrepreneur your own boss in life to have the freedom that autonomy to live every day to wake up to focus on your journey and passion um, go out there and do it and lastly guys if you're young this business has taught me so much that I dropped out of college and I took a different route in life and more importantly I was okay with people criticizing me and through that risk of dropping out through that risk of taking a different path in life I've had so many rewards um, it's been hard it's been struggle it's been a lot of hours but more importantly guys every day I get to wake up and build something for myself and for my future so we're just getting started guys the YouTube channel has been incredible uh, your comments your feedback has meant so much to me I truly love every one of you guys and we're so excited to build this community out of entrepreneurs hard workers people that want to make money and just more importantly start growing in life that's my greatest passions and I don't believe that age can determine your success in life so start getting it um, yeah as you can tell by my voice I'm a little tired it's been hot we've been up since 5 30 working constantly in the heat now and we're gonna go home and eat dinner um, go to the gym and now finish up more work so a lot of a lot of things happening today but guys thank you so much for tuning in if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel my name is Peter Roberts I can't wait to see you in the next video I love you guys so much cheers and have the best day ever take care